Hello YouTube, it's more Blood Bowl 3. Uh, last episode we did the tutorial and we created our team for the, the what's it called, the Corsair tournament of some variety. The Pirate Crew, the Corsair Cruises. Our team is the Black Rat Packers. This team, here we are, Rasquick the Pestilent. Ooh. Uh, each team that you create has its own budget of gold pieces. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it's just saying that I could swap this team around until I start something, registering a competition. We have Ras Quick the Pestilent, or Rat Ogre. So the Rat Ogre has Animal Savagery. After declaring an action on a D6 result of 1 to 3 with plus 2 if the declared action is a blitz or block, my mind is melting. An adjacent teammate is knocked down. After declaring an action on a D6 result of 1 and 3. Okay. Only causes a turnover if the victim was carrying the ball. During an armor value test, the opposition manager can use the mighty blow skill if your player has it. The turn of the player stops immediately if no team play mate is adjacent. The player loses tackle zone until next activated. I'm not going to lie, that's a lot of text. <laughs> I don't remember this skill at all. So I think this means I can knock two people down at the same time. Frenzy. Each time this player carries a block action, he must attempt a follow-up each time it's possible. Uh, he must then attempt a second block action against the same target. A player with this skill cannot have grab. Loner. If this player wants to use a team reroll, roll a d6. If the result is equal to or greater than the figure between brackets, 4 plus, this player plays normally. So it's a 50 50 chance that he actually does the reroll. Otherwise, he just keeps going. Mighty Blow. When an opponent is knocked down following a block by this player, you can change the armor value or injury test by the amount between the brackets. Nice. And Prehensile Tail. Minus one and dodge, jump, or leap test for an opponent who tries to leave a square marked by this player. So, if I put someone next to the Rat Orc, they are just going to fight one another. They can't escape, well, they can if they have a high enough dodge, but they'll struggle to escape Rasquick the Pestilent. That being said, you can kind of bait this guy because of Frenzy. He has to keep following up. So if you're looking, you're playing, you know, keep standing up and I can just keep pushing him back and so on and so forth. You can just bait this ogre away. Yistra the evil eye is my blitzer he has block. Askar the clown, another blitzer. Uh, Azra the dagger, he's my gutter runner. We have two of them. The other one is Oakless, the envoy of etching. Then I have only one thrower. Bist cutthroat. His skills... Pass. He can reroll a failed passing ability test on a pass action. Sure hands. This player can reroll a pickup test. Moreover, the strip ball skill cannot be used against this player. And then we have a bunch of chod. They have no abilities. They're just all linemen. We have Keza, Bad Penny, Acid Shin, Warp Fire, Snake Snake, the Shadow of Marslip, uh, Ice Skin, the Plague, and Slicer, the Shadow of Morslib. What a fantastic team. What a fantastic team. Okay. Without further ado, let's get into a, a competition. We will register a team, please. There you go. Uh, just as a reminder, it's a knockout ton of three rounds. We can't tie. Someone has to, you know, win the game. That makes sense. It's a knockout. Are you going to tell me the, the team here? So, there's humans, orcs, black orcs, dark elves, the chaos chosen. There is a scaven team, the bilge rats. Excuse me, they all have one million plus teams. Oh, well. To be fair, in the law, we got caught cheating, so we got punished, right? And the old world alliance. Okay. 
Let's do it. By registering a team in the competition, you'll make it experience. You'll no longer be refunded when selling staff or players. Fair enough. They're in. My rat boys are in. Oh, it's a it's a derby. It's the Black Rat Packers versus the Bilge Rat. Skaven on Skaven action. And we can see what the AI did. So Armor that is green beat the Pride of Princes. The Horde of the End of Times lost the Black Ark Corsairs. The Stubborn Sailors beat the army that bears the plague. And the Black Rat Packers, which is me, goes up against the Bilge Rats. Can I see these teams? So Orcs went through. Okay, this takes too long to go between menus. Please game, I apologize. Oh my God. Can you load back in? I'm not even using it online here. Like what, what, what gives? What gives? All right, I've unhappied the game apparently. Let me give it a moment. And let me close this other tab, just in case for some reason Chrome is eating on my internet. The NFL is eating on my internet. But I might need to give it a reboot. I did see there was a lot of patches in this over the last two days because of server issues. So maybe the servers are still having a little bit of a, a sad time. Okay, give me, give me a second and I will just reboot the game. One moment. Okay, well, we have it back again, so let's not mess about with the, <laughs> the sister anymore. We'll, we'll play who we play. If you're looking for a reliable coach, then you'd better look elsewhere than Kiroth Krakenai. He claims that he sailed all the seas of the old world, enslaving, raiding, Blood Bowl games. All we know for sure is that he came back with that strange squid mask and he owns an impressive fleet. His ability to lead or enslave should not be taken lightly. God, it'd be cool if this tournament's held on a boat. To do as the captain says. Fantastic motto for the other Skaven team. Is this a boat? No, we're just in a cove. What a shame. God, I like the advertisement for the little camera guy, the little camera gobbo. The aesthetic of, like, the Warhammer world is so good. Portman's Bear. Ooh. 
weather. Shame. Nothing to speak. <laughs> okay. We have a fan factor of three, apparently. Sure. Uh, I can spend a bit of petty cash, I believe, to get some additional traits, right? Yes, because my team is worth less. We can try and balance the match a little bit better. Uh, I, I have to know what this is. Give me a wizard. And... Give me more some give me more cheerleaders, please. For one of those teams, this match is crucial. Position your offensive play before the kickoff. Fuck. Uh Okay. Where's my rat ogre? Yeah, yeah, okay, game. Nice try. Where is my throw? This is the blitzer. What the fuck is going on here? The throw I want right at the back. Lineman. Good runners, I want on the flank. Full enough lineman, I want you on the line. Another blitzer. Uh, let's hold the blitzers a little bit further back to protect the gutter runners. Oh, you're only allowed two players in that position, I forgot. Okay, so we'll put these guys here. Then I have a spare linesman. Hmm. I guess I'll just put you in, like, the pocket at the back. Just in case someone breaks through. Save this as scuffed, but will do. I'm a little bit worried about this guy just running around here. Maybe I do something like this instead. Because now they have to run through a lineman at the very least. This guy can come and help one of the flanks. Maybe I take, I take the gutter runners just slightly inwards and we can... We can break out after that. Alright, this, this is fine. Did I just... I moved the player! <laughs> My bad. Uh, D3 plus 3 open players on the receiving team can move uh, one square in any direction. Okay. So I can move my players because of an event. We'll shuffle people around. That means I can put people like here and stuff, right? I can. Okay. By the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. I got the right number. Okay, I'm just moving people now just because I can move them. Okay. Uh, I've done with my quick snap now. I like the new Corsair Cruise Edge. Okay. I thought you couldn't stand him. I can't. And thanks to his stupid ad. So we can start smashing. This is the game plan of my team. My rat ogre just goes insane. The ball's on the right side, so we're going to train, like, create a screen of rats to protect this flank. Can you please do your action? Go. I'll take it. The push is obnoxious, but it's fine. And I just want to keep these guys together. Do I want my rat guy to go down? Okay, I'll use a reroll, please. I'll push him again. Here goes Frenzy. We've created a nice little pocket of space for my rats. 
We will move you up. And perform a blitz, I think. It's only a one die blitz. Oh, because I'm dumb. I put a player in a marked position. And he would be marked as well. But he wouldn't be here. Oh my god. The turn time is so slow. Quick. Please. Go. There's only one word to say about this. Eh. Uh, stumble him. Follow him. That plane's a little short. Oh no, my mistake. He's on the ground. Okay, the turn time doesn't seem to matter because it's the AI. Maybe. Are you kidding me? You failed a double pickup. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so he tried to pick up the ball, failed to pick up the ball, dropped it onto my player who failed to catch it. Fantastic. What a great turn. Can I not blitz this turn? Sure. Okay, we're doing this first. That's 100% certain. Right, we got a POW. And I'm just going to stay here, honestly. See you later. Now. I need to start moving my players around. To shore up this hole. Oh, you're in attack range. Why don't you think an escape is cancel your action as well? Hmm. Because he's marked. But then this... You're marked. But then this... Just... Oh, I, I can't do this. Rat boy, do you have an attack here? It's only a one die because... This guy exists. However, if I mark him with this guy... Okay, you're going to be a sacrificial rat. I forgot I had to dodge. I have to use the reroll. <laughs> He's knocked out. Oh my god, this is not good. It's fine, I'll get it back. It really isn't helping. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This guy just rolled a six for a pickup, I think. He did. Although he had a good pickup score. Right, what are you doing after this, though? Alright, you're using that hole that I created for you to run through into my back line. Lost and impossible to tackle. Love it. You did a one die roll there? You crazy? These guys are crazy! Oh my god. There you go. Alright. Where's my other blitzer? You're a gutter runner? There's my other blitzer. I feel like it's a little bit harder in this game compared to the, the previous one to see who's on what roll.
Like, why am I not allowed to blitz this guy? Is oh, it's their blitzer. Fuck me. I'm losing my mind. Fine. Just push him back. I just need to run people back here. Alright, you're not my gutter runner. You're their gutter runner. <laughs> Why did it have to be Skaven be Skaven? So, he's going to have to run through there. Hang on a minute. So, I'm just going to create another avenue of dodging, I think. Over here. Let me just check. Is there some option for... Making this look... Actually... Like the different teams? Because they look so similar right now. I can't tell who's my players and who's their players. Skills called per category. Hide options. It's so, like... I don't know. I mean, I guess my players are the ones with the white circles, sure. Sure, okay, fair enough. I really want him just to go murdering people. Trying to even the scores. Get one of their plays off the pitch. Then, I, I guess I just have to run these guys back right now. What a scuffed start. And I think I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to try and even the numbers, and then we'll get the ball back later. Uh, I believe... Oh, actually, you should probably do something. Let me run you back here as well. Because I, I think the AI is just going to try and run through this. So I want to create as many dodge opportunities as I can. Rat guy, just sit there. Okay, what is the AI going to do? Stand up. That's very sensible. Are you going to try and dodge out these situations? Nope. He's just going to do some rap bullshit. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. This could be an early exit for the, the Black Rat Packers. Are they my cheerleaders? They're fantastic. Okay, so what are we learning about the bilge rats? The bilge rats will just fucking run. They don't give a shit. Uh, I will go with scuffed, but we'll do again. Wow, they took advantage. Time out. On turn six, seven, or eight, both teams will receive an extra turn. Otherwise, they both lose one turn. What? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Also, what does this do? I should probably have fireballed someone last time. Hey ho. Just wait a second. 
I think the opening turn last time was fine. That's quite a mismatch, There's a pow. Then, then. It's only a one die roll, but if I put someone next to him, it's still only a one die roll. Because he wasn't getting help from there. Maybe I should just go to run into that back line. Let's do it. I'm setting up a big pass play. So we'll just put... Actually, do I want to put the Blitzer there? Probably, right? Let's create the avenue of safety again. Or attempt to. We have block, so this is fine. He's going to sleep. Nice! We got a KO. That's huge. And then I can move afterwards. So let's just sit him next to this guy as well. To mark him. Now? Now? <laughs> I think I want you here. Just to shore this up. You here. This is a badman, right? Yeah, so I think I just want you to stay there. The gutter runner? I want to run to here to try and mark some of their plays. You might just get knocked down. And now here's the important thing. Can you pick up the ball? He, he can. He's a legend of the game. So I can't pass because... And I might as well go back one tile. I can't pass because I've used an action, right, in the pickup. And I think that is my turn. Let's see what they do back to me. I assume they're just going to start running like mad lads. Yeah, just fucking dodging like a mad lad. I really should have screened this guy in some way. Oh, there you go. That's what you get for trying to dodge every single fucking play. Okay, we need some protection now. Lineman? Over here. Where's my blitzer? He's there. I really would like to get this guy off me. Actually, what does the... The blitz is going to have a double roll here, right? You'll get an assist now. That's fine. I just want him to go away. Just give him the fuck off. Let's get moving. Could this be a touchdown? No, because he can't pass now. So you can't pass and move on the same turn. That is a standard action. Okay, I'm getting to understand this a bit more. Instead of marking those guys now, I think I'm going to... Just protect my thrower 
Huge head injury. Well done. Come on, I rolled 12 on the injury. This... Actually, no, the rats are next to one. This is fine. Let's start making figures of five. To protect this guy. The gutter runner. I'm just going to leave here. I think he's fine. To be honest with you. You can stay here. I think everyone else just stays where they are. I'm a bit worried about this double turn that was mentioned before. All right. Can you... You can. This is going to be a huge throw play. Pass activation. Validate. 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 Excuse me? Did you, did you get the ball? Oh my god, pass is different from handoff. Fuck! I thought it was the same. Okay, then we are changing... Oh my god. I guess I'm changing what I'm doing. So he passes at the end of the turn? I'm so confused right now. I do not remember the previous game being this confusing with the buttons. But I'm pretty certain he's going to go for a pass. Okay, that is just a one roll. Everything else is one roll, so i pretty certain I just end my turn now. Okay, I don't understand this game then. Why didn't I pass? It's fine, because I'm just going to run up the pitch, because they just keep giving me turnovers. I'm going to pass this still, even though I know I can just run it, because I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck happened last turn. I have no idea. Also, it's worth... Unless it's different from the previous game, that's worth XP throwing the ball. Oh no, those rats were their cheerleaders. These are my cheerleaders, of course. Why would my the enemy cheerlead sorry, why why would my cheerleaders be cheering the enemy? Good point. Anyway. Okay. There is a couple of injured Skaven here and a knocked out Skaven. And then all my Skaven are on the pitch, which is always a good sign. Oh, I have to do defensive positions now and you've just moved everything all over the place again? Thanks, Obama. Uh, definitely one of my Blitzer here. Who are you? You're the thrower. Where's my gutter runner? Actually, I don't want my thrower injured, though. I don't really want the gutter runners to be near the front right now. So maybe I'll use a th a th my thrower as a lineman? I guess. I, I don't know. We'll go with the... 
it honestly looks like a Japanese symbol. Like, is this a Japanese equivalent of five? I'll just call this five. Japanese five. Uh, Jap... It might not even be five. Japan... Okay. <laughs> I didn't have time. Okay, kick off a square. Uh, so I don't want this to go off the pitch. But I want it to go pretty far back. It is the end of the turn, so it's pretty negligible anyway. Okay, that really went close. For this match, the team gets a free bribe. I'll be blunt here. If you can't right, ball, good job. Nice. Because I think my KO players did get up. So we should have a numerical advantage. Okay, can I save this as Japan 5 now, please? Nope, it's just going to be called empty, I suppose. Alright, fantastic. So, they have... A slight preference towards his left side. That is a thrower. They have two throwers. You know what? Go long. Brilliant coaching. For each manager, a D6 result is added to the number of assistant coaches. The manager of the highest result gains a team reroll that must be used during this drive will be lost. Uh, the build director have four rerolls. So do I, though. Also, congratulations on picking up the ball. Interesting you chose to... Actually, you didn't have the gut to run it, to be fair. What are you doing, AI? They're so shocked they've picked up the ball. Oh my god. You ever a dodge? You know I have to get not like What are we gonna get to see again? And now you're gonna do this thing where you make it look like a five on the dice to protect the the guy. Okay. I vaguely remember this now. This is to make it like imp well not impossible, it's hard for you to get a double dice roll on him without like peeling off the outside of it. Holy shit. You're crazy. Actual crazy people. So, I could actually hit the rat ogre here. Which would be pretty fun. I have to go for this. I'll re-roll that, please. Fuck you, Rat Ogre. Okay, we didn't get an injury, but just to knock him over makes me feel happy. Makes me feel warm and happy inside. Now, let's start marking you up. You know what? I'm going to put this guy here instead. Rats, rats, we're the rats. I'm going to start surrounding you now, if you don't mind. So this guy's just going to run up the middle. That's the game they've been showing so far. So what we need to do is just make them dodge like 100 times. To get out of this. That's not the way I want you to go. That's the way I want you to go. Come on, guys. Together. 
and I'll follow you. You can get an injury, but it's not really your style to get injuries here. They are down and surrounded by the opposing team. This isn't going to be pretty. And then I think I'm just going to pull you here again to try and stop this guy doing dodge shenanigans. I'll just create a, like, a wall of rats that you have to dodge through. And I'll leave you free for next turn. All right, are you just gonna run this guy through everyone? You do have dodge. So there is a chance he makes it. But if that happens, I've got people free over here just to tackle the hell out of him. He's gonna have to make a lot of dodge checks here to protect this guy. Where are you going? You're not gonna stand your rat ogre up first before you do, I mean, maybe they're just moving for now. Okay, now we're doing some standing ups. Interesting play. Okay, they're just running it to the left side because I have this gaping hole here. Bold is what I'd say there. Unbelievably bold. Some would say stupid. Someone would say really stupid. You lost the player as well for that. Okay, is my blitzer over here? No, you're in this mess of garbage. And you'd have to sprint to get a blitz off. Okay, lineman. Today could be your lucky day. Actually, I'm just going to create a wall first. And give me an unbelievable roll. Yeah, that'll do. Fuck up, ball carrier. Kill him. Okay, we didn't kill him. You don't have dodge. Therefore, I think I'm just going to leave the ball there. At least for now. The Blitzer can come over here. Everyone shuffle to the left flank. Then. Can I start murdering this guy as well? Can't argue with that call. Can you oh, oh, double pow. Now his body can move that player better get up. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this Do I have a bribe? I think that's a bribe, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Fuck you! Oh my god. Did he just get stunned? He just got stunned. Well, that's going to be him down for another turn at the very least. Ooh, that I will re-roll. That I will re-roll, sorry. Oh, you just got back. It's fine. We just suffered some prones there. I did the meat and potatoes of my turn. Though he can now just run away. You're trying to pick the ball up. Very, very bold. But that's a turnover now. Did you even stand your players up? Right, he stands up. And that's all he can do, right? He can't hit. Well, actually, he could. It'd be a blitz, though, right? No, he can't. Never mind. This shenanigans can stop. I don't quite know how I'm going to do this yet.
Just start getting people over here. Can I murder this rat as well? That might be a, a play. <laughs> uh, I'll do it. Got stunned. Really? Just a stun. That's not good. I, I, I'm wasting my rerolls a little bit here. I hope that player has written a will. He has dodged, sadly. Players can barely speak, Jim, let alone write. But I can still force him to the side of the pitch. And that is not a place you want to be in this game. Then I've got a blitz here. We'll just push him. And I'll stay there. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's a... Okay, I see. I see my folly. Thrower. I'm going to risk your life and put you into this scramble that's happening in the left flank. And... Rat Ogre, just mark in the centre of the pitch, please. We only have one reroll left, so I need to be very careful with how I do everything from now on. Hey, look at the AI standing his players up first. Unbelievably bold again. Alright, well... You, you made some decisions there. Where is my my thrower now? I put him there. Hmm. I guess I could have used him to pick up the ball and run a touchdown, but hey ho. Where's my gutter runner? He's there. So no. Yes. Let's put this guy here to get a three dice roll. Unity is strength. That's still fine, even though he's got dodge right. Because I'm going to kick him off the pitch. And now the audience can deal with him. That's what you get for tiptoeing too close to the touchline. Anyway. We now want to start... No, absolutely not. We want to start marking people. Namely their, like, back line. I forgot you made a dodge. I'm just going to leave these guys in this situation. As long as people are trading with one another, just standing there, I I'm happy. Then, obviously, we're going to try and kick this guy off the pitch as well. Don't think I forgot about you. That'll do. Crowd, please. <laughs> yes, I broke his arm! Get in there! <laughs> I ruined the build rats. That's why I love this game. Uh, it, it was the two linemen, so it's not the absolute... In fact, it's only linesmen I've been fucking... Oh no, actually, I, I KO'd their th one of their throws as well. Anyway. That's fine. I will follow this. And now, pick up the ball. Don't drop it off the pitch. What a legend. Can I run to the end? Go, Oculus! Touchdown! Black Rat Packers. Nice. Okay, we had a nervy start. But since then... We've been all over these guys. In the Battle of the Rats. The Rat Derby. A fresh start, fellas. You can return to the okay, we'll use the uh, Japanese Five as our defensive formation. It worked well before, we'll do it again. And who knows who's coming back on their team. 
everyone but the two injured players. Uh, one, two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're missing one player, so I'm one player up. We're on turn 12 of 16. I'll try and go long again with this. I can't remember what happens if you kick it out of play. You know what? Maybe I'll test this theory. Uh, weather conditions are determined once again, and the new result applies immediately. If the result is perfect weather, the ball will scatter before landing. Do they just get to put it into their player's hand? I think they do. I just wanted to test it. It is a bit of a throw play for me. Because I thought that was the result. The AI though has made some questionable decisions and I believe they will do so again. Also, we have our blitzers, Yistra and Askar. And they're going to have to make some dodges here. Well, there he goes. He now has to dodge players into this guy to protect him. Otherwise, I'm just going to blitz the shit out of him. Holy shit, he's rushing. This guy is mad. A true mad lad Skaven play. There you go. Alright, well... Can you get to here? You can. That was to my blitzer. Doesn't matter, I've got a spare one. Let's go a, a, a big blitz here. That'll do. Oh, the ball split spilled pretty badly there. Do I want to try and collect it with this guy? I do have a re-roll if I want to. Alternatively, just stand next to him is a pretty good play. I think I'm going for the pickup though. Don't spill it. He's a god. Just stand there now. Now, my other gutter runner. Offer a bit of protection here, please. Thank you. And now... Get ratting. We'll take the one. So, Animal Savage just basically meant he skipped his turn there, I think. Well, that is okay with me. Oh, I could injure. Well, actually, an injury here wouldn't be the worst thing either. Uh, actually, let's... Ooh, I did that really dumb. I should have just moved forwards. I should really have just moved forwards there. I've put myself in a bit of a precarious position. Uh, Donut47, thanks for the follow. All right, we're going for an injury. Get him, Ice Kid. Nice. Ouch. Was really hurt. And they didn't even get a, a card for any of this. Things are coming up me. All right, well, let's see what maniacal play they have to, you know, to do now. I assume it's going to be dodging. You're trying to blitz this guy from downtown. Dodging along the way. Rushing as well. You are mad. You are completely insane. You're injured. The bilge rats are falling apart. And this is my blitzer. Can we do a little... Can we do a little trade-off here? Nice. Okay. Now, my gutter runner has it. Oh, don't really want you on the edge of the pitch, but I'm going to go for it. We're going for a touchdown. 
before the end of the game. Really rub it in. Show them who the top rats are in town. Right? You provided a little assist action here. If the player is pushed here it will... Yes, I know. I'm going to mark for that. Don't worry about it. Much more dangerous than players. This is going to be decisive. Incredible. Uh, I will follow on this. Oh my god. They're not going to have players left at the end of this game. How many have they got on the field right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They only have seven players now. No, eight. Sorry, there's someone stunned over here. That's crazy. Okay, Rat Ogre. Yes! Get him! That actually clears up some space here as well if we want to go for a blitz play. Which I think I will. Just destroy everyone in this left flank. Holy shit. They're having a bad time. Did he have like a, a knife attached to my tail then? If so, very cool. Uh, honestly, this doesn't matter. I'm just going to switch you around for the sake of anything. Out of interest as well, I kind of want to know what this does. You may cast this spell at the end of either player's team turn before the next team turn begins. Target a square for each player standing on this square or an adjacent square. On a d6 result of 4 plus, the player is hit. He is knocked down and he can apply plus 1 and to the injury or zap. If a d6 result is equal to or greater than the strength of the target, the letter is changed into a frog for the remainder of the drive. I have to. Wait, where is... Do you have any... Fuck me, do you have any gutter runners left? How do I do this? Oh, before plays have activated. I see. I see. All right. He's going for a blitz. He's dead. <laughs> He's unfortunately blitzed into what must have been a lower roll. The build rats, they're, they're just going crazy at this point. It's simple as that. Right, where can you get to? We have two turns. This is going to be a 3-1 game. I'm calling it now. We can put some protection here. Go Snick Snick. My other gutter runner can get to here. Oh, you can't quite get to where I want you to get. Uh, we could go for a little blitz action here. I don't want you to go that way though. How is this only a two die roll? It's like Blitzer, isn't it? Hmm. Oop. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, too easy. That I think is simply game. I mean, it is game. They're not going down to, down to my end of the pitch with one action. It's just like double game. Because now I can get this guy to here. And the shielding is complete. Just keep running players over here. Look at the team going in a flying formation towards a touchdown. 
Rat Ogre. Just keep murdering. It's just a push. That's fine. You're now marking three players. Eh. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I kept punched because of Frenzy, and I failed the one die roll. I'd have been a little bit salty if I got injured there. I, I've actually given them a chance to intercept me now, sadly. Oh, I forgot there was even a guy over here. Oh, well. Right, well, they're going for the against all odds play. I get to pick here, right? Touchdown! Rat Packers. The Black Rat Packers. 3-1 in the Battle of the Sewers. The Rat Derby is coming home. I think it's just end game, right? I was the last turn. Yeah, over immediately. Look at these handsome, talented players. MVP was Vast the Sneak, a lineman. Oh, that was for the build traps. Oz was Askeladd the Clown. Honestly, I was going to give it to him. This guy caused so many injuries, had so many good blitzes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, dedicated fans. We have two now, great. And we gained a little bit of extra moolah. Always good. Okay. Can I... Can I see the remainder of the competition, please? <coughs> or are you just going to say no? Game, say no. I guess I should spend this 70k. We're going up against the Stubborn Sailors next. Alright, so we will spend some of our money. And let's see who got experience in this game. Okay, so Azra the Dagger got 6. The Clown got 4. Oculus, 3. Rasquit. Two. Oh, that's my rat ogre and my thrower got one as well i guess because he completed a pass right let's spend some of this money then uh oops that's the wrong button can i see my team please there we go there we go we have 70k right my gutter runner. What abilities can I give this guy? Passing agility. I can give him catch. Defensive. Okay. Dive and catch. Jump up. Okay. Okay. Sure feet. Once per, t per team turn, during his activations, play can re-roll the d6 during a rush. He can rush three times. A sneaky git. This player is not sent off on a natural uh, double during an armor value test when he commits a foul. Moreover, his activation does not end after a foul and he can continue to move. That's funny. If the player is knocked down or becomes prone while carrying the ball, you may place the latter in an adjacent square. The skill may be used if the player is prone. That's pretty goddamn useful, so I, I get to choose where the ball goes. He already has dodge. Sure hands. A player can reroll a pickup test. Moreover, the strip ball cannot be used against the player. You know what? I think maybe I'll take this. Sure hands.
Nice. So he's got a short pair of hands on him now. I don't... <laughs> you randomly chosen skill for three. Interesting. So I could get two... Skills for less. But I don't get to choose them. So Shorthands was on the thrower as well. I'm just worried about this strip ball skill. I don't really remember it in Blood Bowl 2. But if my runner can just keep a hold of the ball and he has dodge already, it just seems like he's going to be a menace to, I mean, get the ball off. Okay, so we have a 4 to 3. My Blitz have got a 4, which isn't really enough right now to do anything with. The question comes, do I hire another player? And I don't think I do. Maybe I save my money for now. Just to get one reserve player, like another thrower. I, I am sitting on a nest egg then of 70k though, which doesn't feel pretty good. I don't really want another lineman. Alternatively, maybe just pick up the apothecary. Yeah, let's grab an apothecary. It's almost like getting another player, right? And then... We have 20k left. Let's grab an assistant coach and a cheerleader. Perfect. So if one of my star players gets injured, we can use the apothecary to maybe make it not as bad. Do you want to check? There's nothing else I can do with these. Sustain casualties. None. He has dodge. Characteristic is 18 SP. Okay. I had a random chosen skill. Really interesting. I kind of want to do it, but... Maybe we'll do that with another team or something when I get more familiar with the game. We'll just give people random characteristics. Anyway, for YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, subscribe. Everything helps me out. And I'll see you on the next part. We'll, we'll continue this tournament. Goodbye.